Is it possible to know every chord and scale in the universe? Yes. First, let's start with some assumptions. Imagine there are 12 notes in an octave and we have a piano with 88 keys. One way of thinking of this is that each of those keys can be either playing or not, on or off. So we will have exactly two to the power of 88 different configurations of these keys. This gives us a number so big that it's actually larger than the number of grains of sand on Earth or stars in the universe. And most musicians know a handful of them. But perhaps this assumption is too broad. Let's reduce this whole scale down to just one octave and assume that we have octave equivalents. Instead of pitches being individual, they belong to pitch classes. So all the C's belong to the pitch class C, all the D's belong to the pitch class D, and so on. Here things become a bit more manageable. 2 to the power of 12 is only 4096. This is about the number of faces that we humans in our lifetime can recognize. So we could learn these, but it becomes simpler still. Here, let's use a branch of musical theory that's usually taught really impenetrably, but actually can be quite intuitive. Musical set theory, or more strictly, pitch class set theory. So let's look at these fundamental concepts through this patch I've built. Because we're looking at octave equivalents, every pitch can be represented as a position on this clock with C at the top, F sharp at the bottom. And we can number them 0 through 11. In that way, anything we play can be represented as a pitch class set. 027 means here C, D and G. So these pitch class sets represent all of those 4096 possible chords and scales. However, we can condense these further. For example, C minor, 037, and D minor are both minor chords. You'll see in the blue box they have different pitch class sets, but in the green box, they get the same set class, 037. A set class allows us to remove the concept of transposition. So all minor chords are in the same set class, all major chords and so on. Not only that, but it removes the concept of mode if I play C Ionian and C Dorian, they have different pitch class sets, but the same set class. So we have a set class which removes the concept of transposition and it removes the concept of mode. One way of thinking about it is that everything we play is a geometric shape. And if we rotate it, it's the same shape. So the same set class. So inversions, transpositions, modes, all belong together from this viewpoint. So we started with this grain of sands number, but with the concept of octave equivalents and pitch classes, this huge number reduces down to just 4,096. Now with set classes, where inversions, transpositions and modes are grouped together, we have just 352 chords and scales. In future episodes, we'll look at how all of these harmonic shapes are catalogued in the hideously presented but beautifully conceived fort numbers how they can be modulated, reflected, and interact with each other, and how, through interval classes and vectors, we can understand their unique and wonderful flavors. 
Most importantly, we will look at how they can be used in understanding and composing music. Historically, set theory has been taught in an unfortunately dry and stylistically limited way. This is a shame because essentially it's really beautiful. You've taken all the grains of sand on earth and brought them between two fingers of one hand, greatly enriching our harmonic knowledge and means of expression.